Is brioche bread or cake? The truth is that brioche is considered a viennoiserie, a sweet and more indulgent form of bread. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Vegan Sweet Addiction YouTube channel. I'm Valentine. This morning, I'm meeting you all beautiful people from my sofa because today's video is going to be another breakfast video. To be honest, I was actually hoping to film on my balcony, but it's raining like crazy out there. It's the second recipe of my new series perfect breakfast made vegan. But it's not any recipe, mm -mm. it's the perfect recipe to make my favorite breakfast ever, the perfect vegan brioche. If you're wondering how you say brioche, it's pronounced brioche, it's a French word. Like many of the most delicious bakery products, brioche came from France. While working on this recipe, I wondered where brioche really came from. It must be said that each region has its own brioche. The word brioche appeared in 1404 and would come from the Norman word brier, meaning to green, or more exactly, to knead a dough with a wooden rolling pin. And therefore, the first brioche had to be Norman. First thing first, let's knead that brioche dough. The act of kneading develops gluten, which is necessary for the dough to expand without bursting. 390 grams of all purpose flour, 30 grams of vital wheat gluten, 50 grams of lupin flour, 55 grams of sugar, 120 grams of margarine, 2 teaspoons of salt. 60 g of fresh yeast or 8 g of instant dry yeast 210 ml of water In a bowl, we need to place our flour first On one side of the bowl, you need to crumble your yeast it should not come in contact with the sugar or salt. To knead the dough with a stand mixer, I'm going to use the hook attachment. I prefer to knead with a stand mixer. It saves me the pain of kneading by hand, but it's not required. You can completely make this recipe and knead with a bowl and a rubber spatula. I'm kneading it for 4 minutes on low speed, then about 10 minutes at medium speed to develop the gluten. The dough must come off the bowl and be able to be stretched without breaking. Meanwhile, don't just sit here and stare at it. Go play with your little doggy or eat snack or go play some video games. Basically, at this stage, your dough should be ready. Using a silicone spatula or a dough scraper, or just your bare hand if you're feeling wild today, take the dough out of the bowl. And now, shape it into a big bowl using a circular motion. Now, place it back in your bowl. And don't do as I did, and don't forget to grease it before. And either cover it with a damp towel or some clean film, or even put it in a big plastic bag. Leave it to stand for 30 minutes at room temperature. And like before, don't stand here staring at it. It's funny to see it rise, but really, is it that funny? Once the 30 minutes are over, go back to the dough. We are going to need to fold the dough in half. and do the building and turning thing again. We now need to leave it to rest in the fridge for at least three hours. 
we are going to wait for our dough to get homogeneous, non-elastic and cold before using it. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the simple syrup that will be used to make the glaze and that will make our brioche all shiny and glossy. And take our brioche from cute and delicious to professional and bakery-like brioche. I'm going to uncover the dough and divide it into 8 equal pieces. You're going to form the dough. In French, we call it the act of boule. Use your palm to push the dough into the counter in a circular motion to mold the dough into a spherical shape. Repeat the process until you have no dough left. Here's how it should look. Pretty, right? Leave it to rise from one to one and a half hour at room temperature. 15 minutes before it's done, preheat your oven at 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. Mix the melted vegan butter, the milk and the syrup to make the glaze. Then, with a pastry brush, paint the brioche with the mixture. Now pop it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. The brioche is ready when it's golden brown. If it's coloring too fast, you can cover the brioche. Once my brioche is out of the oven, I'm going to brush it with a simple syrup to make the surface crunchy and shiny. And now, I know it's hard, maybe it's the hardest part, you tell me, but we need to leave it to cook slightly before we can dig in. Wow, look at that, so beautiful. I'm going to cut it and serve it. In France, we mostly enjoy brioche for breakfast or as an afternoon snack. And we will have brioche with jam, fresh fruits or chocolate on top. Of course, there is no wrong way to eat brioche. Brioche toast, brioche sandwich, brioche dessert or even brioche burgers. But today, we're going to eat it as a simple but perfect brioche toast and he's clearly going to eat it with some chocolate. Always chocolate. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm here to obliterate this poor brioche today. <laughs> this recipe might take some time, but trust me, it's so worth it. And clearly my favorite breakfast. Even compared to pancakes? Yes, even compared to pancakes, even compared to everything. Oh, I can't decide personally. <laughs> like, I like pancakes, that's awesome. I also like croissant, also like pain chocolat, but I don't like it as much as I like brioche. My favorite breakfast. Mm. Madame brioche. <laughs> now guys, you two can create the infamous vegan brioche, aka the best breakfast. Now I'm going to give those a try. Trust me, I don't need to try it again to know how good it is, but it's not going to stop me. Is it good, Madame brioche? It's a good and it's so light and fluffy in my mouth. <laughs> you can stop eating. I, I think it's going to be gone very, very fast. Yeah. If you liked this video, please like it, share it, subscribe, and stay tuned. We have a lot of other breakfast recipes coming your way.
Like always, comment down below if there is any specific breakfast you want me to veganize. I will make sure to add it to my list. You will find the link to everything down below. It's going to be all listed on my website. Bye bye, I hope to see you back here soon.